Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tabor Talk. Boy, is it hot. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit now about my life, something personal. If you go on my channel, I have a uh, I have a section called My Life. It may be boring for other people, but, you know, I use this YouTube channel as sort of a vlog. But if you're not interested in this, you could just pass, pass this up and go to my stuff on Trump. <laughs> anyway, um, by the way, let me put my glasses on. I hate these glasses. The readers, my Madeline bought them. They look like shit, but who cares? All right. So Saturday was my birthday. I was born in the 4th. I didn't receive a single call or card from my family. And I have a large family. I have five siblings. I don't get along with any of them. And my, not even my mother. My mother's still alive and she's awful. It's a whole long story. I'm not going to do the whole thing of what happened here. I've actually done a couple of videos. The bottom line is my family is essentially dog shit. They're, they're listen, not to disparage or call names. It is what it is. They're awful. So, um... I, in 2014, I had an accident, uh, I broke my back, and then I had this horrible affliction for years. People thought that doctors were looking at horrible, horrible diagnosis, like neurological shit, like ALS, Lou Gehrig's MS, just terrible, terrible stuff. Nobody was around, except for my wife, my wife and good friends. They completely abandoned me. It's a long, long story. I'm not going to do this here. What I will do is I left a couple of messages for my mother. Um, and I'm going to play the last message, all right? So basically, I said, listen, Mom, I'm not mad at you. I don't hate you. I pity you, all right? And I hope you find God, really. That's what happened with me, you know? I had an accident in 2014. I was essentially an atheist. Now, I'm, I believe I, I got my faith back. You know, a God, 100%. I know my atheist friends are going to come after me like, Mike, what the fuck? I, I, listen, man, it is what it is. And the book that I read is Houston Smith's World Religions. Oh, listen, I digress. I'm not going to get into this. But I am spiritual. I found God. I have a great life now. And I left this message on my mother's voicemail. Okay, listen. Hey, Mom, I don't, don't want to bother you with more calls. But Madeline and I, we thought about it. Maybe I leave this one last call so that I'm clear, you know, misunderstand where I'm coming from. I do not hate you, all right? It's, I, I feel sorry for you. I pity you, and I pray for you. So I just, you know, make peace with God, and I forgive you, you know? You fucked up, you know? And and it's not all your fault. It's Stephen's fault, and all the body and Sandy and all that. And by the way, I just got off the phone with my doctor, too. What caused this? I have something that's called idiopathic epidermal small fiber neuropathy, and it started right after my fall. So the whole cause was that thing in 2014. So when you said you visited me in 2014, that was the whole cause of my sickness against my will. I didn't want to go there. It was bullshit. I shouldn't have been there. I'm not going to go through the whole history. I got sick in there. I fell off an embankment, and it was all fucking body. I'm over body. I'm done. I'm fine now. That's the bottom line. Or almost fine. Not 100%, but I, you know, I'm alive, you know? But that's the thing that caused it. If you really loved me, you would have got me the fuck out of there. I never would have been there in the first place if you really cared, okay? So when I got out, I had this thing, well, an NDA, near-death experience. And I was so blown away because I thought I it was going to stand and I'd gone to hell. It's the whole story. You're not interested in that anyway. So when I came out, I didn't. I thought I was in hell, it was essentially. So I drank for a year. I was a complete fucking mess. Finally got my shit together. Saw some really good people. Read a lot. Read a lot. And then, uh, you know, ultimately I got stem cells. I'm not going to go through the whole timeline. So... Uh, Madeline uh, saved my life with the stem cell. That's the bottom line, all right? So listen to this message. I don't hate you. I pity you. And a lot of it has to do with that stupid son of yours, that ignorant, don't be kid. I look at it, you pictures Madeline or laugh at that fucking, what an ugly little dopey, dorky kid. Those fucking ears. Ugh. Madeline says, ugh, he's so gross, that's I don't want to be mean and go after someone's physical appearance.
parents. But that's it. And I wish you well. I hope you find happiness. I hope you find God, ultimately. I hope you find God, and listen, we're all going to die, you know? And it's just unfortunate and sad that you're my own mother. I don't even have a mother. And you don't have me as a son, obviously. But you do have Stephen. So do the best you can. Pray to God. Hang out with Stephen and, and your other siblings. You know, and I have a great life. So that's it. I think that'll do it, right, Madeline? All right. To send this message now, press pound or hang up to replay your your message has been sent. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. All right, there, there it is.